Many elementary educators already use learning centers or stations in their classrooms. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about incorporating iPads into those learning centers or stations. To me it's a natural fit and it's a way that students can help express themselves through different mediums like video, uh, possibly drawing, audio recordings. And so let's talk a little bit about some tips. Just like normal learning centers, you want to make sure there's clear directions for the students to follow. They could be written or in video format. Um, two, you want to make sure you select appropriate activities for the centers. Not all activities lend themselves well for centers and or iPads. So make sure that you're careful in that selection. And third, is there a way that students can share their work with you easily and that you can use it as like a formative assessment and give, possibly give them feedback back to you. I have a suggestion, if you've never tried it, uh, Seesaw would be a great application. It's a digital portfolio and it allows a lot of different mediums to provide feedback back to you as to how the students are doing. There's a lot of activities that are already in there. They, those activities also have clear directions for the students to follow. So let's take a look at how Seesaw could help you change your classroom. So as a, a learning center with using Seesaw, first of all, I already have a class set up and if you have questions on that, let me know. I'm not going to cover that in this video, but let's go ahead and let's take a look. Like I have an activity that's already assigned here. Let's go ahead and let's see what other activities are available. I'm going to tap on the green circle with the plus sign and go to create or share an activity. This is my library of activities that I've already liked and I can look through that. I can also search, I'm going to tap over here on the left, to the Seesaw library. There are a lot of activities that other teachers have shared with you here that you can go ahead and use today with your class. So I'm going to do a search in different grade levels. Let's do first grade and then let's go down and let's just search for a math activity. Um, I can browse the library down here at the top. I could also search for a specific thing that I was already maybe thinking of. Um, let's see here. Doing a shape sort. That one looks kind of interesting. We've got some shapes here. What I like about it is that it, it, you're going to see there's already directions on there. The first time or two you may need to go through with your students um, specific directions. It would be good to run them through a few times, but I think after that your students are going to be fine. They're going to be able to follow the visual directions. Now I'm going to go ahead and heart this and notice in the bottom right hand corner there's a couple changes. There's three black dots. I'm going to tap on that. I could copy and edit this activity and actually I don't need to make a copy right now but um, just to share it with my students, but if I wanted to edit it I would need to copy and edit and make it my own if there's a few changes I wanted to do. I can also do collections. Um, that's a possibility. Right now, I'm actually going to just share it with my class, and I'm going to tap on the share with my class. And it goes into um, the students' journals. So I'm going to tap on done. Notice for me, it pops up here, and I see that I don't have anybody responding yet because I just assigned it. Let's go back to a previous assignment I had given, and you're going to notice this was an activity they had to do a video. You see my students um, submissions down below. I am able to interact with them um, providing more feedback or basically it's a way of a formative assessment that I can check and see if they had understanding. So if I can suggest if you want to incorporate iPads into your classroom even today that you think of Seesaw. It provides a lot of appropriate activities for your students that have great directions that are already available and there are easy ways for your students to provide um, their responses back to you as a formative assessment. So hopefully this Take Two for Tech has helped you and that you have a great day.